Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Let's Play StarCraft 2 Episode 3 Legacy of the Void. As always, I'm PA. Now we are going to be doing the prologue Whispers of Oblivion for <laughs> Whispers of Oblivion for any of you that haven't played the first two games, because apparently this one is the story thus far. We will be playing on normal difficulty because I'm not amazing at StarCraft. But, you know, whatever works. So this is giving us the very basic backstory in which there is a very bad man named Amon who has shown up and is going to kill absolutely everybody. To this end, Zeratul's been trying to build up people for the end war, has replaced Sarah Kerrigan at the head of the Zerg, and has gotten Jim Raynor. I don't know, he's just, he's around. As it was foretold, Amon, the Dark God, lives again. If any hope remains for our galaxy, it lies in the hands of the Zelnaga. Only one piece of the prophecy remains unfulfilled. That on the world where Amon was reborn, the last light will be revealed. There is one being who knew that location. A creature known as Samir Duran, or to the Terrans, as Naru. Because backwards neighbors, you know. In this a vampire, system, I hides a long-forgotten Mobius facility. I must hope his secrets still rest within its walls. Zeratul, it is a great honor. I am Praetor Talus, and I humbly request your aid. An unknown force has been abducting Templar from our colony worlds. My forces and I have managed to track them to a Terran facility, but we are under attack by the Swarm. Swarm? I am on my way, Talus. May Adun hide you until I arrive. Brethren are being held prisoner across the complex. We must free them before the swarm overwhelms the facility. Zeratul, I thought I sensed your presence. Let's not mince words. Why are you here? This place holds information I seek, and my captured brethren. I intend to free them both from the Terran's grip. This facility is a breeding ground for Amon's hybrid army. My swarm will erase it from existence. But I know that won't stop you. So let me make this clear. Stay out of our way, Zeratul. Hmm. See, she was more reasonable at the end of the last episode. At least a bit. We will not abandon this fight, Talus. If we are swift and clever, we can avoid the swarm. Thank goodness we have facilities to gather units. I have made our nexus point ready for your arrival. Alrighty, here we go. Oh wait, they were already gathering. Whoops. Anyway, the captive Templar are let's change that ahead. to a warp gate Ready immediately. Blades, warriors. And uh, well, as soon as we actually have a couple of units, we are definitely going to. You require more Vespine gas. Yeah, I guess that's right. Carrigan will send the swarm to destroy the station's reactor. We must free our brothers before that happens. Wait, I start with blink research? That's awesome. All right. Cool. Dark prelate, we will need to cross the swarm's attack route to reach the captives. Move forward only when it is clear. Avoid the Zerg's forces. Oh, they also start with... Ah, oh, shoot. Oh wow. You require my skills. Oh, Marauders, that's not good. You need to get way the heck out of there. Okay, let's see if we can't get them a little bit one at a time. Wait for the shield to uh, build back up. Set that to one, set that to two. Keep making units, because let's be real here, I forget to do that a lot. <laughs> Oh, but it's still, it's good to be back. I actually do enjoy playing the Protoss a lot. It's a very fun race. 
to which end, hopefully, you know. Um, if I get a probe over on the other side, actually, I could actually put a... Uh-oh. Probe, move fast. The swarm gathers for an attack. Warriors, stay clear of the Zerg's Go, path. little probe. We're gonna build a pylon over here. Which should allow us to warp in units on this side of... ...the fight. I just need to be... I'll just get chrono boosting. Push forward. Slay these hybrid thralls to the last. Okay. So I'm assuming that we need to finish the mission before she actually gets over there. Oh wait, what am I doing? Yeah, wait, I have one over here. What am I doing? I should... I should hold off just a second. Let's add that to it, and let's build another gate, and I know why things seem so slow. The game automatically starts you on uh, normal game speed, which isn't right at all. You want to be on faster. That's more like it. God, finally. Alright. I was wondering why things were going so weird. Okay, let's change that to a gate. Let's uh, warp in at least a zealot over here, and you, buddy, get over there with the rest of your friends. All right, and then another zealot. Let's uh, let's just get things built up over here. This probe can probably go back now, and I should get a couple of probes at least on Vespine. Uh, chrono boost make things build. Th chrono boost makes things build especially quickly, which is very useful when you're trying to pump out a bunch of probes in a short amount of time. So I will probably be using it quite a bit. And we're going to get one more pro- oh, apparently I already had a bunch of probes on that assimilator, so there you go. I also often forget to move my probes back into position after I've done that, just because, well, Terrans need to keep them building there, and I play Terran a lot. You must construct Eliminate the Protoss base. Glory to our master. You must construct additional pylon. That would do it. What? What's under attack? Oh, no. Uh, that's not good. In fact, that's extremely bad. I, am the voice of the I probably should have built a cannon. They will surely attack soon. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Build. Eliminate the central reactor. Oh, I lost the forge. Dang it. Oh, come on. We'll get more minerals then. Losing the forge really does suck, though, and I need to remember to move these guys back to where they should be. Anyway, it looks like these guys didn't move, lose much more than... Oh yeah, no, the Terrans aren't doing so hot. Didn't lose much more than the forge, so maybe build a cannon over here, something like that? I can't build it without a forge, okay, never mind. Let's just warp in a couple extra zealots and get going. Come on, guys. This should be way more than enough. Their flesh will serve the master, Jesus. Okay, so these guys are very zealot-like. I see that. Uh-oh. Okay, that's the way I'm supposed to be going. And stalkers, you take the shots. I'm not great at micro even now. Or macro for that matter, so yeah, really just nothing. Really? Okay, I, there is probably a way to self-cast it, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh hey, free resources. I am the voice of the eclipse. Intriguing. Okay guys, build a couple more gateways for me. Or I only need one probe to do that, but we should also build pylons around the area. Because pylons provide power to Protoss structures if you've never played the game before. Which is good, because obviously... Having powered structures means they can actually be used. Also, I only need one probe to build things. It can just build them in quick succession. Another thing I need to remember. I'll keep these zealots here just in case anything else tries to land at the base. And these guys, on the other hand... We, move unseen. we are going to start moving forward. Oh no, I lost the zealot. What a terrible fate. Okay. You do generally want to wait a minute between using each... Uh, 
I should probably actually build a sentry since they can reduce range damage to your units, but eh. I'm also upgrading weapons, which will be pretty nice. Usually want to upgrade weapons and armor, if I remember right, because armor will reduce the damage to actual life of the Protoss units as opposed to... Yep, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. Get a couple of stalkers in here that can actually shoot the airborne unit, since zealots can only attack ground units. Okay, that should be fine for now. Let's build a couple of sentries. And with this nimble fighting force, we should be able to take down the rest of the mission. This is probably actually very excessive, but I'm assuming that I'm going to have to kill things after this holding pen, so... Uh, Guardian Shield requires 75 energy. They start at about 50. That's fine. We just have to make sure they don't die until the next encounter. Okay, cool. Let's bust out all these zealots. Who are... Will they join us? Thank you. Yep, looks like we it. Believed the end was at hand. Yeah, well, I'm what here now. What do you know of this facility, Zealot? The Terrans tortured us, experimented upon our flesh. Most did not survive. I have seen foul work of this nature before, but Narud is dead. Whose hand brought you here? Alas, I know not. Praetor, we wish to join you. To avenge our brothers in arms. Then ready yourselves, Templar. Alright. Well, lots of free units. Nice. I like it. Warriors, there is another cell ahead. Go forth and claim the vengeance you seek. You must construct additional pylons. Oh, for the love of dirt. We are going to be hearing that a lot. I am very bad about getting supply blocked. You must construct additional yeah, 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 whatever. Build an assimilator. At least I remember the hotkey for that. Oh. Zerg Swarm's about to attack again. forces will move soon. We must be cautious. Wait, it's over here now? Aw, oh, come on, man. I gotta cross him again? Lame. Lame. Oh well, it happens. Tear apart their reactor. The Queen of Blades demands. Oh, a couple of medics. I'm sure they're very frightening. Terrans are warping in. Impossible. Oh. They are experimenting with pylon technology. We should eliminate these Terrans and reclaim the pylon for ourselves. Sweet. So now I have a pylon reclaim over here to warp in you. It is hard to believe such primitive beasts could manipulate our technology. Alright. Let's get going. Got a pretty sizable army right now. Let's blink our stalkers to the back there. Okay, that worked out pretty well. On a scale of 1 to 10, solid 4 or 5. Okay. Zealots, let's get going. You guys kind of soak the hits and we'll, uh... Alright, what did that do? Made a bridge? Destroying the bridge control has extended a walkway to our nexus point. Another wave of okay. gathers. Avoid them if you can. You hey guys, join our main forces. Let's just get our, our entire army here. I think I have enough resources now that I can just warp something in. We are a tide of death that does not break. Oh no! Alright, well this is going pretty well. 
I am looking forward to seeing how the story develops though. I am I'm actually really into the StarCraft story, so I'll take it for what it's worth. No, it's fine. You know as well as I that Amon lives. Slaying his hybrid is a meaningless act. We must awaken the Zelnaga. No response. Reason the stone needs, sir. The final cell awaits us, Zeratul. We should delay no longer. Okay. It's going pretty well. Hey, scientist. How's it going? What's in your lab down here? Is it another pylon? Or just some resources? Don't worry, guys. I'm just kind of around. Don't don't sweat it. I'm leaving. Oh, a couple of zealots decided to run off on their own and got themselves killed. Big surprise. The swarm will begin another assault soon. Okay. I mean, whatever. Kill the siege tank. And then once I take out this pylon lab, I'll have plenty of opportunities to warp in new units. Luckily, my units are pretty much fully upgraded at this point, and I have way too many resources, so... Guys, just everybody get in range of the pylon. This isn't hard. Let's all work together now. Both pylons have been returned to our rifle control. Warping in reinforcements now. Upgrade complete. Okay. Alright, let's go, guys. And, uh, let's avoid the Zerg, shall we? They aren't about to push forward here, right? Okay, no, I'm good. Oh, it's a hybrid. Okay, so that is... Yeah, so that is a Zerg and Protoss hybrid. Something that should be impossible because their physiologies actually reject each other. But the Dark God Amon found a way, and, well, there you go. There's the, the energy. So, probably a High Templar in there? That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, heck yeah, High Templar. Can always use one of those. Thank you, brothers. The Taldarim have been abducting Templar, bringing them to Terran stations, turning us into a hybrid. The Taldarim? Those heretics have never ventured so close to our worlds. This can only be the work of Amon. Templar, where were they holding you? Is El Naga Temple, unlike any I have seen. It was called Eris, but its location was kept a secret from us. Mobius and the Taldarim both served under Naruf's command. He would have known the location of this temple. The Atreus system. This is where Amon was reborn, deep within the Sigma Quadrant, and under Taldarim guard. You have aided me in my quest, Zeratul. I am honor-bound to help you in yours. We shall help you claim this temple. This is still the prologue, huh? Alright. Destroy 30 Zerg units? Uh, whoops. Destroy 6 turn units as they're warped in. Also, if you may have noticed, all of the achievement names are puns. Pretty much. My forces have secured a location near the temple grounds. And we are ready to move against the Taldarim. This should prove to be a truly glorious battle, brother. Alright, sounds good to me. Glorious battle, let's do it. Yeah, woo. Go Protoss. <laughs> I 
I will note, the single player campaign is definitely a very different beast from multiplayer. Uh, the single player campaign is pretty much dedicated to making you as overpowered as possible, whereas the multiplayer... Well, I played a couple games and I won one and lost one, and I was garbage in both games. So... The Temple of Eris. Within those ancient walls lies our last hope. Taldarim, seal the temple. None enter until my work is done. Any who defies my order will answer to their High Lord with blood. The Taldarim High Lord is here. This surely bodes ill. Our difficulties do not end there, Zeratul. This world is in its death throes. The Vespine reserves beneath the surface are turbulent. The planet is in a state of constant eruption. That's a good thing. We use that gas all the time. These fissures are the last remaining source of Vespine. We will have to brave them to raise our army. I pray this temple of yours is worth it. I definitely want that. I really do. They just constantly explode with one or two hundred Vespine. I love it. And one of the achievements is getting 3,500, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm starting with all of my stuff. Huh. This counter will keep you aware of the current seismic pressure. Be prepared to move out. I expect a fissure will erupt shortly. Okay, so I need to build an army so I can... I see. Got it. Okay, Chrono Boost costs 25, so it's actually really cheap. It's nice. Uh oh, fissure will erupt. Giving me Vespin in just a bit. But in the meantime, let's keep building our wait, air weapons and armor. Okay, but it also allows the building of sentries and stalkers. That makes more sense. Let's upgrade our ground weapons. Having better zealots is going to be very helpful, as well as better stalkers. Void rays are nice, but ultimately I don't rely on them too much. That might rely. I might, that might change. I might rely on them completely by the end of this playthrough, but I have no way of knowing at this time. So, now then. Yeah, I want to build another pylon, but I should probably save up for a cannon. Um. Fissures are forming in these locations. We will need to move quickly to collect the Vespine. Okay, which locations? Okay, here and here. Let's have one zealot stay behind. Let's warp in an extra zealot for this assault. Okay, now I don't know if I'm not supposed to stand on them when they erupt or what, but... Okay, get yourself some Vespine. Sweet. Free Vespine for me. Did my original one also get extra Vespine? No. Okay, so it is just a one time per... They're like, expand to these locations by this time. That's what you should be doing. Oh, I can't chrono boost a warping structure? Okay. Well, let's chrono boost this so it recharges faster. Heck yeah. Okay, let's build another gateway and then return to home. They do actually expect you to be, um, building things other than just the basic units, it looks like, but, I mean, I really like my basic units. They're really good. And you can even build Dark Templar if you want. It's great. The Dark God has no use for you. He will not suffer you to live. Okay, so I'm gonna get attacked, is that it? Okay. You're gonna get owned! Oh, Alright, go for it. I dare ya. Come at me, nerd. I'm ripped. Alright, so... We are actually doing pretty dang well. But it is 
story mode. They kind of expect that. Let's keep getting resources, though. Alright, where are we going to need to move out to next? Um... Oh. Yes. I'm detecting a strong seismic reading in those locations. They must hide something Vo of value. We should take a closer look. This flying unit is gonna be the end of me. I'm gonna just be... Okay, lots of zealots. Pretty good. Alright, let's get these rocks. Uh-oh. I am detecting another eruption. Fissure locations have been marked. Ah, a natural Vespine vent. I will have the Void Seeker begin extracting it from orbit. Here's some free Vespine, please take it. I am out of supply. Whoops. Like I said, that's, that's going to be pretty common. I get supply blocked a lot. Okay, enemy base here, it looks like. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, well. You can probably take it. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, well, destroying a base of theirs will probably help me out a bit. I should really get over to the places where the Vespine is, though. Free Vespine! Yeah. Oh. Oops. I should make some more Stalkers. And not just because I'm already horribly behind on unit production. Okay, let's go get the Vespine up here. Oh, oops. Yeah, we should probably kill whatever's here first, though. Okay, they're here. That's nice. Hey, you want to get in on this? Okay. Well, I'm glad I warped in some units back at base. That helped out at the very least. Anyway, back to the army. Lots of free best being for me. And then let's go get this. Oh, I have to blink over there. Is that the gimmick? Oh, please don't kill my Void Ra- oh well, that's a pity. Well, Zelts are gonna be bored over here, but alright. How are these things doing? They're nearly there. Uh, I could build a Stargate and start making more. Yeah, that sounds good. Detected in these locations. A second vent has been discovered. Seismic readings indicate one more remains. Alright, I can also make some Dark Templar, which are pretty dang good. Because they're completely cloaked. Your opponents can't see them. Unless they have something that detects, like a cannon. So we're going to need to get up here by the... Oh, the Taldarim are actually waiting at that one. Yeah, we should probably clear them out. Kill the Nexus real quick, and then let's get up there. Zealots can charge, but Dark Templar don't need to. They're just kind of... Slow and steady, if you will. Uh, while we're... We might as well get this while we're here. Oh, 
Oh, okay, this seems to be a main base sort of area. I don't know if I should have attacked this, but oh well, that's nice. Dark Templar seem to be doing pretty well. Okay, it's good to see that a couple zealots managed to get themselves in on this. I need to build more stalkers though, because right now I have no anti-air. Uh, I could get phoenixes or void rays. Let's get some void rays. <laughs> Where are they going to move? I don't know. One of the Dark Templar, I guess. Whatever. Okay. If we destroy the cannons, they won't be able to see the Dark Templar, and we'll pretty much have free reign of this. Awesome. Come on. The most difficult part of this right now is actually finding places to put my dudes. I'm glad to see the Dark Templar just kind of doing their thing, though. This guy is killing one of my guys very slowly. Hey guys, while you're over here, just kind of grab this. Thanks. Alright, back to what you were doing. Alright, this is actually going pretty well now. Alright, let's map the Stargate to three. Let's get a couple more Stalkers. Now, one of the things was destroy two nexuses. I don't know where the second nexus is, but... Alright, get a couple of zealots in here. Alright. Right up here, right? It's the last one? Yeah, let's go, alright. Oh, okay, you guys just kind of found some other dudes, didn't you? This worked out pretty well. Oh, and a couple of zealots seem to have found their way over there. And that one's still making some uh, void prisms, so I'd say we're pretty well off. We need to find another nexus to kill, but other than that... Okay. Hey, you two. Go over here. You get that. The rest of you guys, uh, yeah, keep moving forward. Sounds good to me. I wonder what's over here. Void prisms are very good at killing structures once they get all revved up. Because the thing about void prisms is they don't deal a lot of damage at first, but if they get revved up, like on, say, a structure, uh, they deal increased damage. Significantly increased damage, as a matter of fact. So, it's very handy. You guys over there yet? Okay, good. Get the best bean. And we got the gassed up achievement. What? How nice. I could have probably sent a probe along with to, uh... Let's make five more. Why not? And seven more zealots. Sounds good to me. All my upgrades research? Nah. Let's get shields. Right. Okay, so here's the second nexus I'm supposed to kill. That should do it. Select all warp gates? Oh, that's an amazing command. I just noticed that that is something new to this so far as I know, but greatly appreciated. Actually, um... 
You. Go kill this. It's <laughs> pretty handy. Alright, you guys. Attack move over here. Meanwhile, this guy's taking out that pylon nice and easy. Alright, we just need to breach the temple entrance to win this mission, so... Pretty sure that's fine. Why aren't you ever moving? Okay, let's just rally that to there. I'm sure that's fine. And let's make seven more zealots. Or just five more zealots. You know, whatever works. Okay, a couple units hurt, but shields are at full. Let's get going. I'm sure this will go fine. Our forces are closing upon the temple. We should gather our warriors and strike as one. No kidding. Additional That's a pretty good idea. Detected in these locations. Our void prism seem to be at full tilt now, so that's uh, it's going to be pretty good. Warriors, fight with all you have, and the temple will be ours. They even have a carrier. Uh, carrier seems to be pretty impotent now. It's lost most of its interceptors. I mean, it's gonna keep producing them, they just won't do much. Nice. It's good to see that everything's gone pretty well. I still haven't destroyed the last Nexus, though. I have a feeling I need to go down there to do that. Yeah, it looks like my Void Prisms are pretty well suited to that, so... Now that they're all revved up, let's just get them down here and kill everything that's there. Because probably have to kill that third one. Alright, no more fleet beacon. No more pylon. No more cybernetics cannon. Cybernetics cannon? That's not the right word. Alright, so like I was saying, uh, I always use Void Prisms, and they will be the core of my army from here on out. Um. <laughs> Alright. I can see the point. Void Prisms are pretty good. <laughs> Alright. Hey, who's left to stop me? I think it's literally nobody at this point. So let's, uh, let's bust open the door, shall we? And then the real boss comes out. Oh no, it's only the second mission. That wouldn't happen. The way forward is clear at last. Yes, but the Taldurim are not known to take defeat lightly. They will come to rescue their High Lord. And in force. Go, Zeratul. Find the answers you seek within the temple. Oh, solo mission? Our blades shall grant you the time you need. Cool, I love you the solo missions. Oh, and I get a couple of, uh, stalkers to bring with me. That's nice. I do really like the, um... What are they called? The solo missions, though. So let's do... The Templar shall stand guard as you and your stalkers infiltrate the temple. May Tassadar's shadow hide you, my friend. Do not lose any units before destroying the Void Catalyst during the Evil Awoken mission. Kill 20 units with Shadow Strike. Okay, so basically... Use zero tool a lot and don't let everybody die. Sounds good to me. So occasionally in the campaign mode, they'll have these special missions, which are going to be you taking one of your units or a couple of your units through a sort of... Well, it's, it's basically a single player mission. You just have a hero unit. The intruders breached the temple. They will be upon us shortly. Seal the access way. I will contact the master. As the blade of Amon wills. Zeratul, the Taldarim are retaliating. Hybrid are assaulting our forces. Have you made it into the temple safely? Indeed. But the access way has been sealed. The Taldarim likely suspect an intrusion. Hmm. My Templar are engaged with the enemy. 
You will have to continue on alone for now. I will do my best to monitor your movements. Warriors, we must press on. The fate of our galaxy depends on it. Alright, let's go. We must not hesitate. Blink and permanently cloaked. That's currently it for him. Deliver these unbelievers unto the poor. These missions are usually force fields. We will have to blink through. Oh, this guy got left behind. Oops. Okay. Slide everybody's shields regen up a bit. Photon cannon will reveal my presence. But if I enshroud us in void armor, we will be protected from its assault. For ten seconds, huh? Okay, so move, blink, move, void prism. There we go. That should do it. It is very easy easy to accidentally leave. Oh, I guess that trick doesn't work anymore or something. I don't know. It's very easy to leave people behind when you're blinking. Okay. Slay it quickly before it tears through your stalkers. So kill 20 units with Shadow Strike. Isn't that his move from... Uh, whatever it's called. The... the Mober. I will fulfill my oh, what is this? The Taldarim have constructed anti-air cannons on the temple ramparts. Destroy them, Zeratul, and I can send you reinforcements. Oh, that's nice. Hundred extra armor is a lot, but or a hundred extra shields is a lot. By the way, they have eighty by default, so it's more than doubling their base life. So I have to kill twenty units well with done. Shadow Strike. Huh? I, am sending you reinforcements I almost now. have to have him fight on his own. Oh, hello, little warp prism. What are you bringing me? A couple more stalkers. I like it. Everybody's able to blink. Let's go. We must not hesitate. Now then. Got a hybrid. My shadow strike shall be your undoing, abomination. Yeah, shadow strike is pretty powerful. Why did he never use this before? It seems pretty good. I sense an observer overhead. It will reveal my presence. We should navigate around. Oh, we, we can actually see the observer, though? Okay, the fact that we can see the observer is helpful. Normally, they're completely cloaked. Go figure. Let's have just Zeratul take this on. And Shadow Strike. I can probably just get Shadow Strike off of these guys for a while, but I don't need to. So let's just beat up their Warp Prism and go. You address me. I will fulfill my calling. Oh, it didn't kill it. Oh, okay. Please don't do that. Okay. Is yours. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh, they just kind of. How much life does a pylon have again? I will erase the deep. Nice try, suckers. Not so tough without your revealing unit, are you? Yeah, you run that way. I'm sure that'll work out real well for you. Oh. Must proceed no further. Never seen. My skills. Intriguing. I don't know what it means. I'm sure it's important in some way. My burdens. Okay, nobody's died yet. 
the demons. It's pretty good. I believe another of the Taldarine's cannons lies ahead. Okay, nobody's died yet. Still good. You've destroyed another cannon, I see. Well done. Reinforcements are inbound. Oh, this temple door is just busted. Okay, everybody move in. Oh, wait, what? High Templar? Nice! I can make an Archon. It also means I'm never going to have to blink over another, uh... Another thing again. This alcove overlooks the central chamber. That must be where Malash is hidden. Sure. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. All right, good job, Zeratul. You got it. Oh, that looks good. That looks real good. Truthbringer, the Terrans have failed and led these intruders here. The great work is in jeopardy. Abandon your fear, Malash. Redemption is at hand. Your universe will be freed of its suffering. Ready your people for war and await my command. It will be done. You got it, Amon. Whatever you say, buddy. The Taldarine follow Amon to war. We are too late. Well, nice try, guys. We're bones. Oh, no. That device. The Taldarine are using it to communicate with Amon. Yes. And if we destroy it, we can delay Amon's forces long enough to warn Artanis. I will see it done. Boy, howdy, I sure am glad this gate opened up and they decided to walk by right now. Find him. now. I could make an Archon, and that might be what they want me to do, but I could also just feed back their High Templar. Whoa, Void! Heck no. That was very mean. They should not be casting storms on me like that. Very rude. Shozak Makno, the chosen, descend upon you. Okay, this works pretty well. Sonic Storm. Oh no, Zeratul! Blink. Kill that Archon before it Archons up. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I think Zeratul took some life damage, but not much. Okay, let's just, uh... Listen, just you guys, alright? Psionic Storm... These. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Zeratul, maul some armor. Okay, they got Archons, let's go. Everybody blink away real quick. Luckily, they're pretty much all shields, so if you, you see that their shield is low, you can almost always take them out without issue. How much... Yeah, you're regenerating pretty quick, but not quick enough, really. I don't know if I'm gonna kill enough units with Shadow Strike to get that achieved in this mission. That's pretty much, like, you've just got to be trying to do only that. Okay, and this guy's just kind of left out. That's all right, buddy. Don't feel bad about it. The particle cannons have been destroyed, and I am sending you the last of our available forces. Wait, did my High Templar die? Honor, I guess they did. Oh well, whatever. Honor, let's uh, let's just make an Archon this time. Should be a bit easier to manage. Cause let's be real, I'm just. Oh wait, that means a unit died. Oh, okay, I failed the that part of the mission. Oh well. Oops. 
didn't get the achievement. Oh no, the Chivo. A great power flows through here. It is as if the temple is linked directly to the void itself. You are finally cornered, Nerazim. Taldarim, the true god demands their death. Okay, there we go. I got that Do one at least. Fail him. Nah, they're probably not going to do too hot, just as a little spoiler there for you. Face the harbinger of the Dark Cult's wrath. Guys? Guys, please kill the big one. Thank you. Alright, well that was easy. No problem. Destroy the big Satan artifact. The Taldorim are severed. Guidance. You sure? It looks pretty open to me. Something's happening. I'm detecting a powerful fluctuation of void energies. Saratul, the keystone shall usher you unto hope. Hey, Tassadar. What are you talking about? You saw him in the first part of the first game. That's right. By the way, back in the uh, Terran expansion, he saw Tassadar's ghost. From beyond, the answer to our salvation. Oh, well, damn. Your salvation shall come by my hand alone. Let your suffering come to its end. Oh dear. Very spooky. Amon is collapsing the temple. I must leave now. All right, time to leave. Whoa! My warriors and I have made our way inside and are holding back the Taldarim. Make your way to us now. I am on my way. Rude. Very rude. Five minutes to Temple Kalal, oh my god. Get out of here. Five minutes to Temple Collapse. I'm sure that's going to be plenty of time. I'm sure it'll be pl plenty of time to get out. I'm probably going to have like three minutes left by the end of this. This archway has collapsed. I must find another exit quickly. I'm sure we can probably find a way, there too. Cease your pointless crusade to prolong the suffering of existence. Give in. Let me free you. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that song, but whatever you say, buddy. It's good that the hybrids aren't, uh, equal in power, too. Like, these ones deal a lot of single target damage. And can detect, whereas the other ones... Well, they're just kind of crap. The, the ones that started off as Protoss really aren't nearly as good. Oh, come on, guy. Get over here. Let's go. Oh no, another one. Ah, oh, terrible fate. There, tool, take it out. Thank good our units are they're not fully upgraded. They have no upgrades. Why are we winning so handily? This pathway is clear. Talus, I am nearly upon you. Oh, I lost one. Oh well. It just kind of vanish when Zeratul hits him. That's pretty nice. Move quickly, Zeratul. I am detecting your signal now. All right. I was wrong. I do only have like a minute left. This is actually pretty close. Make your escape. I will deal with the No, you're fine. I can kill him. Go. Now. 
Tell our hierarch what it just keeps spawning. That's really, that's really garbage. They just keep showing up at any time that I, uh, any time that I kill one. Can't save my allies. Aw, that's lame as heck. Alright, let's go. Later, nerds. Thanks for the help. Alright, well I got two of them at the very least. Third one, not so much. I lost a High Templar. If I'd morphed them, they should have been fine. Achievement unlock bonus objectives? Wow, they're really laying on the achievements. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for the first episode, folks. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm PA, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Usually those campaigns are pretty short, so this series shouldn't be going on for too long, but I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. See you all next time.